Hi, it's Rhonda Shear, you're up all night, girl, and I'm ready and waiting for my cameo with you. So go to cameo.com and check out Rhonda Shear. I want to speak to you personally. Hey, Rhonda, you want some dark chocolate? No, no. Hey. Ever since I got this Atari Jaguar 64-bit interactive multimedia system, I don't want to do anything else. I just love this present. Hey, Rhonda, you want a fur coat? <laughs> no, no thanks. I just can't get anything done anymore. Not that I ever cooked in here to begin with. I don't even want to shop. I don't shop? No, I don't want to shop. I want to play. I love this game. Hey, Rhonda, you want some? <laughs> I get so excited when I play this game. So many Jaguar games and so little time. Do you want one? You can get one, too. Enter by sending a postcard to the USA Up All Night Atari Jaguar Sweet Stick, P.O. Box 3966, New York, New York, 10185. Or by filling out an entry form in Electronic Gaming Monthly Magazine's November issue at a newsstand near you. Five grand prize winners will receive an Atari Jaguar 64-bit interactive multimedia system, plus three great Jaguar game cartridges, Doom, Tempest 2000, and Alien vs. Predator. Just in time for the holidays. To the man. Good evening, everyone. You know my name is Ron Shear, but tonight it's Halloween. Halloween. So this is a night that I come out to be Ranvira. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tonight I'm having a huge dinner party and these are some snacks we've laid out. Some bloody little cocktails. And I'm so excited. I'm waiting for my first guest to arrive and Chuck, everyone knows my friend Chuck. Chuck is bringing the casserole. His bloody, bloody little casserole with fingernails and eyes in it. He brings it every year. It's going to be a special one this year. And I'm waiting for him because I can't start doing dinner without my casserole. <laughs> but we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. All kinds of fun guests and sketches. And of course the dinner party. And you'll get to taste some tasty delights and some drinks and some fabulousness. Hi, it's Rhonda Shear from Up All Night. And guess what we're doing? We're counting down the top 10 best moments from Up All Night Halloween show. Are you ready for number 10? Hi, 
It's Rhonda here, USA, up all night at La Barra Bed in New York City at the Vampire Ball. Why? Because it's Halloween and I'm feeling just a little bit evil. We'll be meeting some fabulous vampires along with showing two incredible Halloween films, Waxworks 2 and Return of the Living Dead. What else? Let's start the film and I'm going to find myself a vampire. Bad in New York City, the Vampire Ball. Happy Halloween! We'll return to more of USA up all night after this. Hi, it's Rhonda here, USA, up on the Vampire Ball at La Barbette. Stop licking your chops. I'm not roast beef. I'm just a host. Hi there. Are you the main vampire? Well, I, uh, I'm actually more of a priestly guy. And, uh, With those tea? Well, I... What kind of vampires are here tonight? Well, we have uh, several varieties of vampire. And uh, the first one is Rob. Could you please come over here? This is Rob is the first vampire. This is the first type of vampire. This is a little projection into the future. Rob is a, uh, what we call cyber vamp. Cyber vamp? Cyber vamp. On his computer? Or who's the second type? Okay, then we have the, the more gothic type right here. Gothic vampire? This is like a gothic theme. With the Hello. It's more of like a punkish type of misfits from the band Misfits or right, third type, third type. Third type. Let's find a third type of vampire. This is a Victorian style vampire. And my favorite type. Oh, oh absolutely. The most elegant and Come over here. She's so beautiful. Thank you. Hi. She represents the, uh, the third portion of the vampire culture. We're going to get back into this whole vampire thing while you all are home sharpening your teeth. Let's return right now to more of USA. Up all night. Let me tell, tell me about this cyber vampire. Where are you? Cyber. Cyber vampire. <laughs> it's Rhonda here. Wasn't the vampire ball fantastic? Okay, now we're going to visit someone from all of our past who we all loved, Tiny Tim. I had the honor and pleasure to work with him in Massachusetts. And unlike another well-known movie hostess, I work the other 11 months out of the year, so I'm a little rusty at this whole spooky, scary stuff. For that reason, I'll be aided tonight by the USA Up All Night spook o -meter. This device will gauge just how spooky our show really is. <laughs> oh, well, I, I guess I'll, I'll get the hang of it. Hmm. <gasps> Oh, Tiny Tim. Hi, Mr. Tim. How are you? Okay, Miss Sherry, it's a pleasure being on your show. Thank you very much. Uh, it's also a pleasure being here in the beautiful spooky world. Isn't it fabulous? Uh, Who's this lovely young lady? She's an up-and-coming country and western star, Miss Robin Lynn. She's played on all my shows and has a real hot song coming up, which she can tell you more about. Oh, hi, Robin hi, Lynn. It's a pleasure to meet with you. Thank you. Now, Mr. Tim, will you do me a big favor? A big favor? Hello. Will you sing my favorite, favorite song, which is Tiptoe yes, Through the Tulips? Oh, tiptoe by the window, by the window, that is where I'll be. Come tiptoe through the tulips here at beautiful Spooky World. Me. Oh, thank you. How about a hand for Tiny Tim? You're probably wondering why I 
trekked all the way to New England just to do a Halloween show. Well, the only thing that scares people in Hollywood is Heidi Fleiss's client list going public. Oh, and there is one other little thing, a haunted condo in Brentwood. <laughs> well, that's just not good enough for our viewers. We're at Spooky World in Massachusetts, where people are easily frightened and proud of it. Why don't you check out these commercials and USA Up All Night returns. I'll show you just how spooky this night will be. Wow, what a movie and what a night it's been. I'd like to thank all the ghouls, the goblins, and creeps that have haunted us all evening right here at Spooky World. Ooh. I think it's been our spookiest show of the year, especially considering that up next is The Howling 2. Your sister is a werewolf. As for me, I'm all spooked out. But remember to join me next week when we'll do something completely different all over again. Until then, have a happy and safe Halloween. And remember, from the keeper of the sizzle kiss, if it's L.A., it's Rhonda up all night. Ready, guys? Sizzle kiss time. Nighty night. It's Rhonda here on USA up all night at the incredible Fangoria Horror Party. Well, you know, Linnea, it is right after Christmas, but we have that Christmas spirit because in L.A., anything crazy can happen like these people. Aren't they incredible? <laughs> now, we have plenty of scary monsters, but we also have the most incredible star here of Vice Academy. Linnea Greeley and Vice Academy 2 also. Now, Linnea, we're going back to our film, but I want to know, tell me, what's going to happen next? Well, you're going to see a bunch of girls dressed like hookers running down the street. Oh, come on. How do you know that? Well, because almost every scene in the movie has that. Oh, Linnea, you heard it here first from Linnea Quigley. Now, you guys go back for more red lipsticks and short skirts on USA Up All Night. We've done our job, yes. and we have our sticks. Watch it. It's Rhonda here, and welcome back to USA Up All Night and Fangoria's Horror Party. Things are really frightening here. You know, if you look around, you'll see a lot of scary and gruesome people. I mean, doesn't it look like something from your worst nightmare? Oh, Linnea, Linnea, can we come over here? You don't look like you're from any scary film. You look like you belong in a, in a parade of, of dreams. Our audience dreams. No, wait, just tell me, though. We're dressed alike. You found out my designer, and you and you were. It's it's Linnea Quigley Vice Academy Night is what it is. <laughs> Vice Academy Night. But it is quite a, a parade of gruesome people. What do you think? Well, I hate to miss a parade of men, even if they are monsters. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> well, let's go back to our film Vice Academy. Um, look, look, Linnea, check check this guy. <laughs> His hair is like molting. Can we get your? Ah! Can we get your other? Uh, that's not the kind of nose job I want. We'll be back. <laughs> oh, that was my dear friend, Linnea Quigley in Fangoria. We love Linnea, and she just gets hotter every year. And now we're going to pay a visit to number seven Halloween up all night shows. But you know what these girls do? They come over and they steal all my stuff before Halloween. I can't believe it. Some trick or treating. Watch. I don't think that one was scary enough. Next up, it's Fright Night 2, the only sequel without a prequel. A film that reminds us that one man's nightmare can be an orthodontist's dream. Let's roll Fright Night 2 on USA up all night. Hi, it's Rhonda, your queen of the nighttime, and I'm going to be trying on outfits all night long, looking for that perfect Halloween costume for tomorrow night. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet. All you Jills, get a hold on to your jack-o'-lanterns, because tonight's films will scare you right out of your bunny slippers. First up, it's the all-time classic slasher flick, Nightmare on Elm Street, and a double bill with a sequel without a prequel, Fright Night. Two, a film about blood-sucking barbarians. And no, I don't mean lawyers. So if you want to make it through these films alive, I suggest you lock the doors, turn on the lights, and for goodness sake, don't bring the TV into the bathtub with you. Now, stay wide awake for Nightmare on Elm Street on USA Up! <laughs> All night. That's what you get for eating pastrami onion double cheese pizza before hitting the sack. Hey, 
How do you like this costume for Halloween? Wanda the witch. Hmm, who could that be? Hi, it's Rhonda Sure USA up all night. Trick or treat. Francine, come on in. What are you oh, doing? I knew it was me. How'd well, you know? Well, it's not Halloween. What are you doing? Of course it's Halloween. Come on, come trick or treating with me tonight. Tomorrow's Halloween. No, Besides, tomorrow's November. Tonight's Halloween. I, I don't have any treats for you, though, Francine. You didn't get candy for us? Hmm. Rhonda doesn't know about this witch thing for Halloween. It's evil. I want to be something different. Everyone's a witch on Halloween. Come in. Surprise! Oh, oh, look, look at my costume. Betty Boop. Watch this. What will we do, Miss Rhonda? Oh, oh, that's great, Rhea. That's going to be great for the party tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Halloween's tonight. Rhea, it's not tonight. It is tonight. Then why aren't you dressed in a costume? Because I'm getting ready for the party tomorrow night. No, and I don't think not. I'm going to wear this. I'm just so confused. No, you have to find something to wear tonight. We have plans, places to go, people to see, things to do. Boop, 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 boop. Come in. Hi, it's Rhonda, USA, up all night. I know. Hi, Hi Mr. Jacqueline, and it's Halloween tonight, right? Right? That's right. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Trick or treat. <laughs> Come in. Hello. <laughs> I'm Rhonda from Up All Night. <laughs> it's Holly Hansen. Oh, hi, Holly. Hi, hi, Rhonda. You're looking very good. Oh, thank you. How's the twisting and treating going oh, out there? Oh, it's going very well. You know, I made 50 bucks coming up here tonight. <laughs> so, well, this lingerie is very attractive. It's a new look well, for you. Thank you. I want to thank you for helping me come out of the lingerie closet, Rhonda. <laughs> Rhonda, you're a goddess of good times on USA, up all night. And I think I like this pirate costume. What do you think? Yo ho ho and a bottle of apple juice. Come in. Hi, it's Rhonda, USA, up all night, trick or treat. Hi, Bill. How did you know it was me? Well, I don't know, but you are looking much more feminine than Rhonda tonight. I'm, I'm feeling really just not right in this outfit. I think I'm going to have to change now. <laughs> I know, I know. It's Halloween, right? Yeah, I, I just want some treats. <sighs> Rhonda doesn't have any treats. No treats? I don't have any treats because tomorrow night's Halloween. But okay, I know. Tonight's Halloween. So whatever you want. What do you want? What do you want? You can take anything from the Rhonda apartment that you would like as a treat. I'd like the headboard. The headboard. <sighs> Come in. Hi, it's Rhonda from USA. Oh! All night. Hi, Jane Hamill. <laughs> you guessed. Well, I I'm, I'm very flattered that you're going to be Rhonda for Halloween tomorrow night. Um, hey there, little red riding hood. You sure are looking good. You're everything a big bad wolf could want. Oh! <gasps> okay, come in. Hi, it's Rhonda with USA up oh, all night. Trick or treat. Sure it is. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Rhonda. <gasps> you look wonderful as Rhonda. You do too. Thank you. I'm trying on costumes for tomorrow night because tomorrow night's Halloween. No, it's tonight. Okay. <sighs> Come in. Hi, it's Rhonda on USA up oh, all night. Hi, Linnea. <laughs> it's Linnea Quigley, my very, very famous friend. Yeah, I was you, trying to be you. No, you're. Uh, thank you for dressing up like Rhonda, you know, for Halloween tomorrow night. But um, I guess you want a treat, right? I do want a treat, but let's sing our song first. Oh, yeah. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give us something good to eat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rhonda, USA Up. Oh, all night. <laughs> Trick or treat. <laughs> it's Java Joan. Joan Fagan. You're going to fool me. Oh, my goodness. I'm also taking donations for moose. <laughs> <laughs> it's very sweet of you to dress up like Rhonda for Halloween, even though it is tomorrow night. But oh, um, it feels like it's tonight. <laughs> Trick or treat. I'm sure it does. <laughs> I don't have any treats, but you can have anything here that you want. Really? Yes. Anything. Okay. What do you want? Mm. Let's browse. Okay. Oh. Well, how about Gilbert? Oh, I'm not desperate. <laughs> oh, okay. Anything over here? It's not a lot left. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I know. How about those boxing gloves? Okay. I think I saw an ex-husband in the hallway. <laughs> Rhonda decided to be a cat for Halloween. 
Come in. Oh, howdy, Buckaroo Rhonda. Buck Blake, I haven't seen you in a long time. How are you? This is my jungle girl, Marimba. We take nap now? No, no. <laughs> we not take nap now. She's just learned the English language. Just drop by. I know it's not Halloween. The place looks pretty airy here, I'll tell you that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> just to show you the animal we brought for you, it's a deadly reptile. Wow. Scarier than Oprah Winfrey without makeup. Oh. Scarier than Frankenstein. It's a deadly French rear air black and orange python that oh, I found fuck. when I was searching for a marimba. Can you take nap now? No, not nap now. <laughs> Let me pull it out here. Marimba, get the machete there. It's your Halloween hunting on USA up all night. And if anyone else shows up, I'm in deep trouble. I'm in deep trouble. Come in. Hi, I run the USA up all night. <laughs> I know who it is. It's Michelle Bauer. Oh, my famous movie star friend. You've been in like 35 films. Name them. Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, uh, Swarty Babes, The Slimeball Boldorama, uh, The Tomb, The Demented, The Dwelling, Wild Man, Little Devils, and I, I could just go on and on. I know. So don't. <laughs> No, but I, <laughs> I'm so happy that you came as Rhonda tonight because you think it's Halloween. Ah, come in! Hi, I'm Rhonda Shear, your bedtime buddy on Up All Night. It's you, Ted. It's you, Ted. Don't even tell me it's not. You know it's not Halloween. And if you're going to get them, make them softer. Oh, watch the apples. You know? I don't have any tricks. I have no more treats. I have nothing. I have nothing. What do you want? How about something that rhymes with my name? Ted Bed. That's what. Perfect. That's what you want. That you want the bed, really okay? That's what I had in mind. <laughs> but that's what you're getting. The, All right, you're getting the bed. And in the meantime, nice the electrifying bed. conclusion of Fright Night 2 on USA Up kind All of, Night. Kind of. I like it. I'll take it. Okay. Cool. Next Friday night, we'll be doing something completely different all over again. Until then, from the keeper of the sizzle kiss. Remember, if it's L.A., it's Rhonda. Up all night. No, all I have left is my clothes. Ah! We're back with more of The Dating Connection in Rondavision on USA Up All Night. Well, my decision was very, very, very... Easy. I picked bachelor number two. Well, Rhonda, it's time to meet the two men you did not choose. Bachelor number one is the star of trauma films, Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD. It's Mr. Sergeant Kabuki Man himself. Well, you certainly fill out that spandex. <laughs> Nice meeting you. You also did not choose bachelor number three. He's the brain trust behind Tromo Films. Let's say hello to Lloyd Kaufman. Ah! Rhonda, I, you know, I would have given my left coxicle to have the date with you this evening. You know, you want to see it? No, gotta, no, no, just thank a you. Going to <laughs> and now, Rhonda, your dream date. He's the star of his own series of films and comic books. He's the first and only hideously deformed superhero from New Jersey. He's the Toxic Avenger. Oh, wow. You're gorgeous. Let's give the dating kiss. Wait. You're my man. Can I hold your mop? Wow. Here's a personal favorite. I just loved I Dream of Jeannie and Bewitched. So for Halloween, here's my number five pick for Halloween up all night. Bewitched me as Samantha. And that concludes our double dose of Bewitched and a double dose of Darren. Now it's up to you to decide which Darren is the favorite, the old Darren or the new Darren. To cast your vote, call 555-DARREN1 or 555-DARREN2. Hi guys, it's me, Rhonda, with USA Up 
all night. And I was just watching my favorite TV show, Bewitched. And I'm a little annoyed at the contest that they're having. Who's the favorite Darren? I hate when they do that. I mean, they were both good. I remember when the new Darren came on the show, you had to get used to him, but he worked. And both names were Dick. So how bad could it have been? Can you imagine if they made Samantha choose between the two? That would have been tough. Darren one, Darren. <laughs> wow, this is going to be some dream. One minute I'm Rhonda with USA up all night, and the next I'm I'm Samantha Stevens in Bewitched. Do 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 do. <laughs> But before I can continue on with this dream, I have to introduce the movies for tonight. First, we're going to see The Presidio and then Bad Dreams. Hi, it's me, Rhonda, with USA Up All Night. I'm having a dream that I'm bewitched. Well, that I'm Samantha on Bewitched. I was trying out my magical powers, but I think I need a little more practice. Come on, Sam. How many times do I have to tell you no? You are so threatened by a powerful woman. Did you say something, Sam? I'm, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I was just saying that you're right. I'm just not myself this morning. Let me get you a cup of coffee, okay? <laughs> Here you go, honey. That's sweet. Mm. Gotta go. Mm. Oh, don't forget about dinner tonight. Larry and Louise are coming over, and they're bringing our new client, John Doe. He's not just an everyday kind of guy. He's worth five million. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll take care of everything. Mm. Now, what should I make for dinner? Reservations. <laughs> Let's get back to the Presidio on USA. Up oh, all night. Welcome back to USA Up All Night with me, Rhonda. But I'm having a dream that I'm Samantha Stevens. You can call me Sam. Darren just left for work. Good morning, Samantha. That's Darren, too. And I'm supposed to choose which Darren I like better, the old Darren or the new Darren. Sam, I've decided to spend the entire day with you. And tonight, a romantic evening sipping champagne together. Oh, Darren, that sounds wonderful. But why don't you just go play some golf? And when you come home, I'm going to look very sexy. Are you sure, Sam? Oh, I'm positive, Darren. Go ahead, honey. Bye. Well, I have to call Larry and tell him I won't be coming to work. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll take care of Larry. Besides, he won't even miss you. It's rather crowded there today. Oh, do I have my work cut out for me? You see, there are two Darrens. The old Darren and then the new Darren. And I have to choose the one I like better. And I can't let them find out about the other because that would be awful. Hmm. I've got a dinner party with Darren 1, and Darren 2 is expecting a romantic evening. Hmm, well, I could tell him I have a headache. Oh, what should I do? Mother? And now back to Presidio. Mother? Mother? <laughs> Okay, this is the deal. I'm Samantha Stevens with USA up all night, but I'm really Rhonda with USA. Anyway, I'm having a dream, and I have to choose between the old Darren and the new Darren, and I need help. Mother? Mother? Really, Samantha? I was in the middle of my workout. This better be important. It is, Mother. I desperately need your help. You see, Darren... Let me work out this problem, and you guys start watching the Presidio. Well, there's two Darrens. There's Darren 1, there's Darren 2. Hi, this is Rhonda Shear, USA Up All Night. We're watching Bad Dreams, but this is my own personal nightmare. Somehow, I'm Samantha from Bewitched. Why don't you just tell everyone that you have two husbands? Try to get out of that Look, one. all this rat gets down here. Samantha, what's going on? Who are you? Why, he's Darren, too. Uh, no, he's Darren 1, and I have to choose between the two. 
What do you think you're doing? Playing dead. Well, who do you think you are? Boys, boys, take this out with your agents. All right, Sam, you gotta choose. Yes, Samantha, you choose. Okay. Right after the conclusion of Bad Dreams. Already won. Guaranteed. Number two. What a dream. Hi, it's Rhonda, and I've lost my head over tonight's two tantalizing movies here on USA Up All Night. Hi, it's Rhonda, your lusty late night lass. As you can see, I've lost my head. For real. It's because the director was so mad at me for being late all the time. He said, Rhonda, next time you're late, I'll have your head on a silver platter. So, here I am. But don't worry, we still have two great flesh-filled movies for you. Last Dance and Campus Hustle. Our first movie, Last Dance, has some real knockouts in it. I think I better fix my nail. Hey, Miss Rhonda Body, could you put some hot pink nail polish on? Uh, it's on your right side. No, you fool, your other right side. <sighs> Boy, nice house, but nobody's home. Good, good, okay, now stick your hand out. <sighs> good, now lightly apply the nail polish. Down a little, down, no, to your right, to your right. Back up, back up. It's obvious that you just cannot exist without me. Back up. Yeah, perfect. Now, while I try to do my nails, you check out more bodacious tatas as Last Dance continues on USA Up. Right. This is exhausting. You are tiring me out. You are cut. You are a mess. I take back everything I said. That's all for me tonight, but don't worry. I'll get my head together for next week's show. But it's not over for you because we still have another great movie for you, Zoo Radio. I hope you didn't mind me as headless Rhonda. At least I wasn't boobless Rhonda. <laughs> okay, now we're moving to number three, where I hang out with the cast of Weird Science. Oh, those kids were so great. And we make the perfect man. And guess who it turns out to be? The beloved Gilbert. Watch. Whoa, Rhonda Shear. What a babe. Be still, my muchacho. Gorgeous and yet so gorgeous. Down to earth. Please, boys, reel in those tongues. The carpet's getting squishy. Aren't you forgetting something? You're right. She's on TV and we're stuck here. Another lonely Friday night with our usual little threesome. Make that a foursome. <laughs> So, Lisa, what do you say we create the perfect man? Sure, no problem. What is this? What am I doing here? How did I get here all of a sudden? I can't believe it. One minute I'm sitting at home and I'm right in the middle. Well, I won't tell you what I was doing, but it was starting to feel really good. And now I'm here. And what am I? The sex toy to two beautiful, desperate women. Well, I'm not going to be that anymore. If you want me for your sexual gratification, I say no. No, at most, maybe I'll give you an hour. But that's it. That, all right, a month. A month and a half. Okay. Three years, and then I say no. Three years, that's the limit, and then I put my foot down. So the all-time favorite Halloween shows, number two, I hang out with Jason. A little trivia. The dude playing Jason, I won't mention his name. You can look it up on your own on IMDb, but he turned out to be Bill Maher's executive producer. Yeah, I started him, you know when. Jason, watch. What the hell's going on here? It's Friday the 13th, a new beginning on USA Up All Night. It's your Midnight Muffin with my special guest star, Jason Voorhees on USA Up All Night. And Jason wanted me to show you his Oscar for creative use of garden tools in film. Yes, more Friday the 13th after these messages. It's Rhonda with my close personal friend, Jason Voorhees, and the continuation of USA's Friday the 13th Film Festival. We've got two more coming at you. First, it's Friday the 13th 5, a new beginning. 
This one, of course, stars Jason as our friendly one-man answer to the population explosion. Then it's Friday the 13th, 7, The New Blood. This one, of course, stars Jason <laughs> as our one-man friendly answer to the population explosion. Let's get right into it with Friday the 13th, 5, The New Beginning on USA. Up! Oh, my Rondesizing Jason. I'm not sure if he likes the lipstick. Oh, Jason, thank you. I've been looking for this. Cool. Okay. Oh, silly, you're already dry. <laughs> it's your girly girl here with Mr. Life of the Party. Now, let's get back to Friday the 13th, a new beginning on USA. Up! All night. All right, I'll dry my hair, okay? The conclusion of Friday the 13th, The New Blood, on USA, up all night. I would love to dance. Okay, bum ba da da You're ready for this, the all-time number one Halloween up all night favorite. You know this one. You know who it is. Rhonda hangs out with... Pinhead. Ooh, it was hot. Just can't figure this box out. It's really heavy. It's gotta be jewelry in it. Rhonda has to open this. I just have to open this. <laughs> well, coming up in this next segment, believe it or not, a Richard Simmons wannabe. Back to Glitch with your favorite girly girl on USA. Up all night. gotta be a good luck charm that's what it is a good luck charm maybe Rhonda can wear it call it a hunch but I bet bodyguard Brucey could help those two out of the closet hmm Rhonda didn't order pizza playing tricks It's you. It is you, right, Pinhead? In the flesh and at your service. Wow. I'd offer you something to eat, but all I have is pizza and it might get stuck or something. Thank you, I ate earlier. You have something of mine that I would like. Really? I wasn't thinking of that. I could enjoy your flesh, but I don't think the viewers would like to see. You'd be surprised what Ron's viewers want to see. Maybe not. The box, a puzzle box. This little box, I, I thought it was a jewelry box. What it contains might pierce your flesh, but not in the way you're thinking. Well, most of my male admirers send Rhonda jewelry, but uh, okay, well, this is going to take a, a little while to figure out. Um, do you have a minute? I have all eternity. Wow, yikes. Okay, we're going back to Glitch on USA up all night, and Rhonda will figure it out with Pinhead. Okay, it is against my better judgment, because I can't stand guys who are Indian givers, but here's your box. Thank you, Rhonda. Believe me, it's better this way, but I'll see you in hell. You sweet talker, you. Oh, well, I guess it'll be a while before Rhonda gets to see Pinhead again in person. But we can all see him right now in Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth, because it opened today all over the country. Gee, I wish I would have asked him for his autograph. Oh, well, Rhonda will be right back with more of USA Up all night right after this. Yes. It's Rhonda here. 
Thanks for watching. It's been so much fun. But don't forget to tune in tomorrow night for my Halloween special at 9 p.m. Now, go scare someone. Woo! Boo! You make me wicked. Ooh. You make me bad. Ooh. You give me feelings. Ooh. I never had. Ooh. Your eyes make my blood. Ha uh ha -huh.